Greetings, I'm Gray Snally, and welcome to the options menu to Sunless Sea. This is a roguelite in a universe that I'm actually fairly familiar with. You see, at one point, I had a dying computer. And I did test it out. That's why there's a continue, but I barely got any far in there. So, if you wanted to see my first death, sorry, I starved to death. But anyway, this game is set in something called Fallen London. Fallen London was originally more of a browser-based game, and you'd be like some dude in an underground, underwater version of London with sea monsters and horrible eldritch beasts and stuff inspired a lot by Cthulhu and that such to where it was dark and it had a really witty sense of humor and then they announced soon after I started my channel that they were beginning work on this roguelike for it and I was in heaven because it was a universe I really liked and a game that I wanted to do for the channel so I want to jump into it and actually play it in a non-testing way. I barely looked at anything. All I know is that it works when I looked at preview. Alright. Captain's Making. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast blank ocean to you. Welcome to the Undersea. Choose a past. Decide who you were and what you want to be. A past shrouded in shadows. You just get out the Z immediately. Choose this. Opportunities to revisit your past will arrive later. Um, I want to do this. You now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. Who are you? You're a captain. Now you belong to the Undersea. But who were you before? Was I a street urchin? Your street urchin gang cast you out when you grew too tall. You took to sea rather than graduate to larger crimes. That last big score was enough to buy a ship. This will give you a bonus to veils, the skill of subtlety and evasion. A poet, educated and articulate, you seek sensation at sea. How lucky you had a legacy to spend. Your long vanished father had a rich patron, it seems. Pages, steal trickery and knowledge. Veteran of the campaign of 68. You fought in the invasion of hell. London's armies lost. You survived. Your loot and your pension have brought you, bought you a command. Your bonus to iron, the skill of causing direct damage. An ordained priest, you fell from grace. There's nothing left to shore for you. An anonymous benefactor has found its way out for you. Perhaps at Z you can overcome your appetites. Heart, healing and morale. Natural philosopher. Blood and starlight brought you down to the neath, the cavern where London lies, and now they take you out to Z. Bonus to mirror, skill detection, and perception. I think I'm going to pick a street urchin for the subtlety. That way I can sneak around, because I don't think direct combat's going to serve me really well in this early part of the game. Choose an ambition. What does winning mean to you? Your father was lost at Z. You never knew him, but you've often dreamed of him. Find and return his remains to London for a decent burial. Gather a hundred tales, learn all you can, can of the Z. Write a masterpiece. Retire. Hmm. Well, you know what it is to be poor. Now you want a mansion, servant, fine clothes, a family, perhaps. You need an impossible one. The choice is not available. It will be someday. Establish a colony where you're absolute ruler. A utopia, perhaps. Perhaps. I think I would like to do that eventually. Your brother was lost at Z. You never knew him, but you've often dreamed of him. I like the fulfillment one. That's more of how I would actually do this if I were an under Z captain. Hmm... Become more the most venerated explorer. A last scrap of paperwork. Captain! Captain! An irregularity with the harbor master's office. They wish to know. What term of address do you prefer ashore? This will determine what people call your captain, but your captain's gender is up to you. Madam, sir, citizen. A term of address popular along those of egalitarian sentiments. My lord, 
Perhaps you really do come from a noble family, my lady. Captain! Um... That's hard, actually. Captain will do perfectly well ashore as at sea. Thank you. Hmm. Captain it is. Last piece of advice. Explore. Take chances. This captain will probably die. The Z is hungry, but each captain passes on lessons to the next. Unless you're me and you tested it and didn't do that. But I didn't do that. Okay, and then I get a portrait. You got these portraits in the original game as well. Hmm. I don't know which one I want. I kind of like that one. I was an urchin, though. I do really... That was the one I had when I played the actual game. I like that one. And then I'll be crazed... Nelly. I'll stick to my diving suit. It's very advent explory. Well, in London, deep and dark and marvelous, all voyages start here. This is where successful voyages end. Your lodgings, where you may catch up with your correspondence, rest, or all retire altogether from seafaring life. Okay. See, this is a lot like the actual game was. You go and you find quests and such, and then you go read them. Read the morning papers, the Expurgated Gazette, the magazine formerly known as the London Magazine, the Spiteful Trumpeter News. Okay, visit your study, I don't have... I don't have any of these. So, let's try this. You've gained... One supplies. The Connet is threatening war. They always are. The London's colonies on the Carnelian coast want independence. They always do. The undersea, the papers report, are undergoing another alteration. Not yet, it hasn't. You'd know. Oh, a promotional coupon for Miss Plenty's provisioners for half a cask of salt herring. You could use that. Coupons? We're using coupons. Okay, now there's nothing else I can do. Or you could back to the rest of the city, or you could check the London card. Right. I want to check the London... Ah, I'm already here. They'll pay for information from Z captains. Find out. You know what? I want to read this one. Oh. Okay. Very modest challenge. Find out how to mine. They'll pay for information from Z captains. Find out what and how. Continue. Ask if there's anything in particular they need. The admirals of these picket feats and intelligence networks are long gone. The survey office pays the captains a large sum for recent information. Visit and investigate ports to gain port reports and trade them in here. Oh, I heard about this. I heard about this when I read a review of this. It's very important to do. Hmm. No more than two. At the Amer uh, Well, if we can be assured of your discretion, this port, speak to our agent there in return. We'll see what you've rewarded. So go there. Iron and Misery Company Fung Station, somewhere not far from home waters. Um, speak to a high... Not as such. Once you've proven yourself, perhaps, survey three ports and return to ruin the Admiralty's approval. Mm, okay. Sorry if this is a bit slow. Hire more crew. I could use two more. Put your shop on dry dock for repairs, sometimes other purposes. Offer... Hmm. Ha! Another day, a new recruit. Very modest challenge. I'm going to do that later. Offer passage to a tomb colonist. 
take the colonist the Vanderbite, the very same people place I'm going. She's the greatest city in the Ender Z, and don't you oh. It's oddly difficult to die in Fallen Wonder, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves up in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these ones aboard in padded coffins. Your crew cart they'll sleep there until the journey is done. Take them north to the colony of Vanderbite and sell them there. Take the colonist of Vanderbite. You now have a tomb colonist. Mm. Okay. The hold. I have one tomb colonist. Journal. Okay, I need that one. I have that one. Vanderbite. No one was born to Z Captain. Almost safe. Let's go to Vanderbite then. I need to launch. Use the WA up. Okay. Let's go to full speed. Which isn't very fast. <laughs> Not very fast at all. Discover the bad stomach's abyss. That's something. Say, do I have a map? Do I have a map objective? I have a map. Mouse over to see them. Yeah, I saw that. I'm going to use the buttons for now. Oh, Barnett. Hunter's Keep. Whew. I have a ma mascot? Comatose ferret. Usually it's a mob, while occasionally it's feral. Right click to speak. Long shakes gunner, gunnery officer. Ooh. Nifty. You said it's to the north. Something awaits you. The lamp icon. It means opportunities await you at the next port. I am now in the dark and probably having to do with terror and I'm gonna die so let's slow down a moment no no I wanna see the journal of endings and beginnings this is the tutorial thing I'll look at it more carefully next time hmm that's right, I have an autosave for when I die, but only when I reach port. I'll do that another one. I'm not going to sell this book. Ah, it's just saying opportunities are at other ports. I can turn my light on and off. Carissa's point. Let's travel on. Your cook is outraged. One of the tomb colonists has woken from his coffin rest and found his way to the stores. When the cook came across him, he had consumed a half wheel of cheese and an alarming quality of suit. Fling the villain overboard. I'm going to return him to the hole. He better not do it again. If you had provided me with more Medea's quarters, if the ship had not pitched so bum. Death is terribly dull, and so forth. Ah, oh, so he's an asshole, is what you're saying. Great. That's what I needed. I needed an asshole. Carissa's point. I feel like I'm messing this. Full power. Hornman Stag. That looks like a pyramid. Fed the crew, distant bells. I have decent fuel. I don't want to use full strength, or I'm going to. There's lots of fogs. So turn the lights back on. That circle of light is a port. Go there for stories. Is that what this is? I'm confused. That's a port? Yeah, that's a port. 
I think I'll do that, actually. Let's get some stories. Whoa! Put it in there. Oh, oh, no! Oh! You brought the decaying immigrant north. Now what? Help out an immigrant. Your tomb colonist passed her yakes off her bandages. She looks remarkably healthy for a tomb colonist. I'm not as dead as I look, she confesses. And I won't get ashore without your help. Yes, the constables are looking at me back home. Is that a problem? Make no promise of discretion. Keep your nose clean. You'll drop her off at the dock, as you promised. And after that is your problem. We are going to go for the riskier option. Muffled oars. You slip your fortive passenger past the skin check. Po post and the confirmation of consolation. Thanks, Captain, she remarks casually. Let me teach you a couple of tricks just in case you do this again. And here is a little hush money. You've lost a tomb colonist. You have suspicion a little bit. A lot of echoes. You brought a criminal Vanderbite and assisted her, and you've gained one veils. Excellent. Most excellent.